Around a thousand shutterbugs are showing off their best at one of the world's biggest photography spectaculars. One contributor to the head-on festival in Sydney captured herself as Napoleon, while an outback photographer still reflects on lives cut short. There's not a day goes by that Peter Elphus doesn't think of his experiences of photographing Lake Eyre and how lucky he is to be alive. And everything that I do in my artist's life at the moment is, is, it revolves around the Lake Eyre and, and, and what's, what's happening out there. Um, and of, of course, you, I can't do that without thinking about them. He's talking about ABC journalist Paul Lockyer, helicopter pilot Gary Ticehurst and cameraman John Bean. He was supposed to be flying with them when they died in a helicopter crash last year. Peter Elfer's photography is one of 200 exhibitions in the head-on festival. Four years of photographing Lake Eyre has made him a firm supporter of the native title claim by the Iluraka and Arabana tribes. He believes they'll soon gain ownership of 71,000 square kilometres around the lake. And with that, come a name change. His new name will be Kati Thundra. And I think it's important that we recognise the traditional owners. 